Hello folks, quick video. Um, I've had some worship. Yeah, uh, on my messages playlist, messages means uh, Christian messages, um, as in songs that have a message. Um, Thy will and then kingdom come are the first two. And my God, with those two together. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic, beautiful. Gets you just in the right, right spot, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so I'm back now. I feel I'm back after Friday. Yeah, I feel I'm back now, so that's good. Um, when I was having a rest, um, or kit, whatever it was, lay down, um, God put it on me to forgive the people. And so, yeah, did that. So that's good. And as I say, it's not, yeah. People's sins are really between them and God. They really are, if they're between anyone and anyone. They're really between themselves because, yeah, they will harm themselves and that they shouldn't be harming me and they shouldn't be harming anyone else. They should just be affecting themselves, really. So that's the whole point of repenting is that we come to the position of understanding that what we did was wrong and so we repent and we, we free ourselves of that. So if I hold on to anguish and stuff like that, I'm not hurting him, I'm only hurting myself. Or I'm not hurting them. So, there it go. Yeah. Let it go. And so, yeah. And obviously, we've listened to those songs. It's a case of, okay. Yeah, I've said to Father, please forgive me for deciding that certainly with the channel, I'm not going to share what you've said because... The reality is, is that my life is about your will being done. It's not about um, protecting other people from that. Um, well, as I say, I'm not a pastor, so it's not, not my concern at all to protect the people in church. And they've got rabid dogs doing that for them, to a certain degree, so they don't need me doing that, really. Um, yeah. So again, I, I I forgive all of that anyway. So yeah, rabbit dogs, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So certainly in church, I'm going to just do, as I've said, um, I think that's sensible. Yeah, God will need to shove me a bit if he wants me to share anything simply because of the fact that sharing things in that church right now, in my understanding, would only go wrong. I, I can't see that being good. And so, therefore, I'm not going to share anything that God is giving me. Well, I mean, there are people in that church who I would share with. One, I think. Um, who I've shared with already, and it wasn't an issue. Um, so yeah otherwise it's it's simply a case of just do as I was instructed to do listen and don't talk pretty much but talk as in be friendly but nothing more than that needs to be said really I don't think so because you know yeah. they seem to think that I, I say too much so so there you go. I will say this. I think that's that's, that, that's cool. That that's fair to do it that way. Yes. And yeah, yeah. The people can't really complain at any point in the future that I didn't bring what God wanted me to bring because they didn't want me to bring it. Yeah. That's the reality. They didn't want me to bring it. So you know. Although again, you know, when I bring it, if God really shows me to do so, yeah. And in the foreseeable future, that may change. So it's simply a case of right now, at this moment in time. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, as I say, for me, I, I just have to make sure that I'm doing... Yeah, because I'm not part of a collective. I'm... My family is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. 
Yeah. Well, I was thinking earlier, actually, when I was laying down, would I come and do a pasta? Hmm. That's a fair question. If God wanted me to, yes. Well, but as I say, if 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 I'm if I've gone through Yeshua to a relationship with Father, then I don't need a pastor, I don't need a teacher because I have Father. And if that's true, if that's true, then I don't need to be under a pastor. So would I come under a pastor? Yeah. I don't see why not. At least for whatever amount of time that that was necessary. Yeah. Yeah. But as a look, yeah. Um, the as I say, the problem is, is that I'm seeing things from a different point of view now, um, and anything from that point of view could be offensive to people from the other point of view, and <laughs> it's yeah. But as I say, it's not my job to stop people from being offended. Or to protect people from being offended. Yeah, people need to know and learn how to deal with that. That when offence is coming, how to deal with it. Yeah, when they have the option to take offence, what should they do? They need to be taught how to deal with that. And it's not my bloody job to do that now. Not for the foreseeable future. It won't be my job to teach people to do that. Yeah, they have a teacher. They have a pastor. Yeah. So, yeah. It is not my job to protect people from that. So, I will just, certainly on this channel, just do as I feel I'm being led to do. And that's it, really. Not worry about the... Not worry about the consequences from that, really. Because, in the end, put it this way. If I'm doing what God wants me to do, then the consequences are His business. If I'm not then you know god needs to help me to understand that and to learn yeah to do things according to his will and his ways because that's the thing so i can't talk to other people about being led and say that being led is important and then not be willing to be led and so if for me i need to learn to be led then i need to still do the things according to his will and his ways on this channel and learn to be led according to that. Will I make mistakes? Yeah. Yeah. But they're not going to bother me. Because I'm not demanding absolute perfection from other people. And they shouldn't be demanding that from me. If they choose to demand that from me. If they choose to say that if I'm going to do videos online I have to be perfect. But then, I'm sorry, if you're going to speak in church, you have to be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Anything you do in church has to be absolutely perfect. If you're going to put that level on me, then that level comes on you. So, yeah, be careful what you ask of me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's fair, isn't it, really? But that's the point. I'm not going to ask that of other people. And I'm not going to ask, expect that of myself right now, because... I'm learning to do something I've not been able to do. So, yeah. There will be mistakes, and that's okay. And other people have got to understand that there will be mistakes. And, yeah, if they're not willing to understand that, then, okay. Well, as I say, that the reality is, not everyone in the world is supposed to be in your life. Anyone who can't accept that you're going to make mistakes and accept those mistakes for, as mistakes, well... Okay, that person's not supposed to be in your, in your life, are they? Yeah? Well, especially someone who's expecting you to take people as they are, but but, <laughs> but they're not going to take you as you are. Yeah? Well, as I said, with regards to um, videos, when I talk about the issues of the church... That does enrage me when I talk about it sometimes. And when it enrages me, language is used that maybe shouldn't be used. But that's that's the result of being enraged. Now, 
Anyone who thinks for a second that God is not enraged by some of the things he sees in the church, yeah. And again, let's have an understanding of that. God being enraged, again, it's not the same as a lot of people would think. It's like I, I was judged by that, that video that because I was enraged, it came across that I was judging the person when I wasn't. I made it perfectly clear in that video that I wasn't judging that person in any way, shape or form. And when God gets enraged, he's not getting enraged at you because of who you are. He's getting enraged because of the situation as it is and how that's affecting people. Does he swear? Probably not. <laughs> no. But then again, you know, he's, he's better than me. Is that I, I was saying to Father, um, what well, I was saying to the Lord, I'm sorry, you know, that as a son I'm failing miserably. You didn't, but I am. And Father said, Yeah, but Yeshua had 3,000 years plus. He had thousands, well, Father actually said, Yeah, but he had thousands of years to learn how to walk as a son. You've had less than a year. Which is true. <laughs> yeah, that is true, really. So, yeah. Yeah, if people expect me to be as he was, yeah, he had thousands of years to learn how to walk as a son. How to be a son. How to be of father's nature. Yeah, me, yeah, certainly had to be a father's nature. July. July this year. was when I came into understand it was supposed to be off his nature. So I've had, what, three months. Three months. So, yeah, don't expect me to walk as the Lord walked. And I shouldn't expect that of myself when he had thousands of years and I've only had three months. Yeah, <laughs> it seems a bit unreasonable, really. Um, <laughs> yeah, so mistakes are going to happen. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you look at all the biblical characters, mistakes are made. Certainly Peter, mistakes are made all the way through his walk. Certainly after he became the rock, mistakes were still made. He still said things that drove people like Paul mad. But that's okay. Well, the Lord said he'd rather you were hot and cold than lukewarm. Most people, certainly most teachers in the church over the last years, have been lukewarm. Yeah, I know that with my videos, they are hot and cold. Sometimes I'm very cold, sometimes I'm very hot, sometimes I'm hot, sometimes I'm cold. Yeah, so if you want to pick one out where it says I was very cold and have a go at me about that. <laughs> yeah. I can pick out all your lukewarm ones and I can tell you the pieces on that. If we want to play this game. If you want to play that game, then we can play, but you'll lose. Because I can show that I've done hot. Can you? This is the point when it comes down to it. I can show that I've done some videos that were hot. Can you do that? Most of the people that would attack me can't do that. They can't show that they've ever produced hot. They can show that they produced a lot, but not hot. They can show that they've had years. It was like the pastor said to me, he's been in the ministry for 20 something years. Yeah, but that means nothing. It doesn't. It really doesn't mean anything at all to me because are you telling me that you've been fantastic in ministry? You've been phenomenal. You've been you know, having ministry which has been amazing people and changing lives immensely for 20 odd years. I doubt that somehow. 
you know. And again, I'm not talking just to him. I'm talking in general. That it is a case where, yeah. I have no problem. If people want to take what I've said and look at the words of what I said and say, was I right or wrong? Cool, do that. Because, yeah, we'll, we'll have a conversation. No problem at all. Do that. Yeah, I don't mind that in any way, shape or form, simply because of the fact that am I going to be right all the time? No. Am I going to make mistakes? Yes. But I'm doing videos. I'm not standing up in church. You know, speaking to these people as if I've been, you know, that God has basically wanted me up there. Different thing completely. Completely a different thing. My channel is about relationship with God. That's why the videos start normally with relationship with Abba. It's talking about relationship. It's talking about how God is doing things. But talking about church and what church is like is part of that. But learning to be led and, you know, trying to take that seriously based upon the fact that if I'm ever in a position where God wants me to speak, I would rather stand up there for 40 minutes and say nothing. Because I can be wrong here. I don't want to be wrong there. That's the point. It matters more there than it does here. That's the reality. So, there you go. I'm going to leave you to it. But, yeah. So, okay. Back on track. Your will be done. Yeah. Certainly with regards to these. Church, well, that's going to take time. So, yeah. There you go. You take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Have a fantastic week. And, yeah. Enjoy. Hopefully, we've got some good weather ahead. We'll see what, see what happens where that's concerned. You take care. Bye-bye.